Welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Peugeot 508 PSI plug-in hybrid and in this video we will drive the car and I will give you my feedback everything about the driving the new 508 PSI it's in this video so stay with me guys if you are curious about the handling the suspension the visibility the acceleration and everything about this car in terms of driving you will find out in this video of course I will have a separate video with the interior exterior all the detail about this new Peugeot 508 PSI uh, you will find it on the channel the video will come soon so click the subscribe button to see when the video with a review will be on the channel in this video it's all about driving but before start driving guys just click the subscribe button to see all the new video that will come on my channel and I want to give you the technical data and then we will start driving the car now I want to explain you what it's PSI PSI mean Peugeot Sport Engineering that mean the PSI will be from now on something like it's air for Volkswagen or something like it's N for Hyundai or something like it's RS for Audi this will be PSI so Peugeot in the future will try to bring this PSI a sport version of all models so we will see in the future also 208 PSI or 3008 PSI it's really really interesting and I have to tell you that this Peugeot 508 plug-in hybrid for PSI is the most powerful production car that Peugeot did it until today so it will be really interesting to drive this car to see what power it produced also the price here in Switzerland guys I'm right here at Emil Frey in Switzerland in Mosedorf I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car if you want to test drive the car just check them out the price will be 66,900 francs because the car is not brand new it, it already have around 3,000 kilometers a brand new car it's 72,000 francs I will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea it's a great price for what this car offer I drive the car before, I see the car before, and I have to tell you, it's incredible. The quality materials, it's soft almost everywhere. Leather, Alcantara, steering wheel, everything here feel and look incredible good. Now, all about that in the other video, check out the full review video there. You find more information about those things. Now, let me give you the technical data, guys, because I know you're curious about that, and then we will start driving. So, the car come with a 1.6 liter petrol engine combined with a electric motor and together will produce 360 horsepower 520 newton meters it's incredible powerful to be honest also all this power is connected to a eight speed automatic transmission this transmission from Peugeot it's just gorgeous it's one of the best on the market I tell you it's just incredible the car of course it's all-wheel drive and the consumption of the car combined when you have the battery full will be two liter also you will have a range of around 1000 300 kilometers when the tank is full and also when the battery is full the fuel tank capacity is 43 liters also the range of the car only in electric mode VLTP 42 kilometers in real life you can expect 35 or around there you can charge the battery at maximum speed in DC 22 kilowatt and also the battery capacity is 11.5 kilowatt hour pretty good the co2 emission vltp 46 grams also the top speed the maximum speed of the car 250 kilometers 0 to 100 in 5.2 seconds it's quite quite good to be honest ventilated brake discs in the front brake discs on the rear the car come with 20 inch rims that they look just gorgeous on the car and also the bumper the design the exterior design of the car look in a big way I love the car I love the way they design it is just super beautiful the turning radius of the car 10.8 meters also the boot space 487 liters and if you fall down the seats 1537 liters front suspension independent McPherson coil spring with anti-roll bars the rear suspension multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar those are the most important information about the car the technical data now guys let's drive the car and we will see how it's handling and I will give you my conclusion and the rating in the end so yeah let's do it guys all right guys so let's drive the car by the way here is the key the key is the same as on the normal Peugeot cars also what you can do with the key lock the car 
open the trunk the car come with electric trunk here electric uh, tailgate in the back also uh, press the button for a few seconds and you can also close the tailgate uh, of course it comes with keyless entrance uh, electric folding mirrors and it works really really good going inside very good sound insulation behind me it's a highway thousand of cars pass by here uh, that way I get inside the car really fast because in inside the car it's really silent Peugeot did a great job and and do a great job with the latest models that they come on the market great great quality sound insulation it's great everything here when you touch it it's soft material soft material leather the the seats are incredible you have alcantara leather on the side i, lo I love this green insertion also on the exterior of the car the brake calipers are green uh, the car come with focal speaker everywhere it's soft and nice i love this steering wheel it's such a small steering wheel also you have this psi logo the new logo from peugeot the visibility it's perfect on the cockpit visibility around the windows it's very good also it comes with the latest safety features aluminum pedals press the brake press the start engine button here and right now it's ready and right now it's in electric mode you can see also on the screen there it says ready digital cockpit uh, look very very nice it looks just lovely it's not the 3d one it's just the normal one the e cockpit but it looks lovely it's one of the best also the same you can control and change different features you can see the navigation there on the screen you can see wherever you want to see uh, you can change very very easy but i have a special video about that i don't want to go too much into detail just check it out the other video where i have the multimedia system and the cockpit review i have a separate video on my channel peugeot new multimedia system and cockpit uh, check it out you will find it on my channel other than that every single button here everything look fabulous and modern and new and i love it i really love also the center console here it's lovely you have electronic handbrake the car come with eight speed uh, automatic transmission this is gorgeous from peugeot and i like this gear shifter it's very easy to go in reverse it comes with a kind of a 360 degrees camera it has a camera in the front one in the rear uh, and it kind of map up the ground so you can see what it's on the ground and also when you go forward you can see the camera on the front it's not it doesn't have such a good resolution i think here they can improve a little bit but phew, other than that you have the different driving modes from here you have electric mode comfort mode hybrid sport and all-wheel drive we will test all we will drive first time in electric mode also it comes with heated windshield it's it's lovely also uh the car look amazing the exterior design of the car is just fabulous the steering wheel it's small it's easy to drive as all the all the peugeot cars so easy to drive I, I almost forget how easy and how nice is this steering wheel from Peugeot it's just lovely oh my god you can you can go to a maximum speed of 135 km per hour only in hybrid mode this is insane this is lovely and right now we drive in, in, in only in electric right now only in electric mode and you can see also a nice graphic on the cockpit that show you when the car regenerate the brake back in the battery the suspension feel quite sporty to be honest you can feel the bumps the car feel quite sporty quite close to the ground 20 inch rims yeah what can you expect um, so you can feel you can expect to feel a little bit of bumps and the car stay quite good on the road to be honest I like it and it's normal also the acceleration in electric mode it's pretty punchy the brakes and the pedals are very smooth very nice i like them also the car um, come with the latest technology adaptive cruise control reading the traffic speed limit and all that safety feature wow it's so easy to so easy to control it and to drive it i i almost forget guys how easy it is wow it stays so good on the road let me test this oh my god wow 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 lovely wow i like it i really like it
let's change the driving mode very simple from here let's go in comfort mode let's see how it's comfort mode yes right now it's kicking also the petrol engine a little bit the suspension are a little bit more uh, more softer yes right now it's working together I, actually by the way guys the car come with an electric motor in the front an electric motor on the rear and also the petrol uh, engine on the front so it has two electric motors that work together with uh, the petrol motor you can see also on the graphic there it has a nice uh, energy graphic when you accelerate now yeah you can feel that torque 360 horsepower uh, pretty punchy i like it behind the steering wheel here i don't know if you can see it it's it's the controller for the cruise control and you can activate it from there right now i just activate it and right now the car should keep the lane for me should drive automatic i set the speed let me set it to 100 is here the maximum speed i will have the hands for safety but what i notice when i test the Peugeot cars is that I, I feel like they're doing a great job holding between the lanes this autopilot level 2 from Peugeot or I don't know how they call it it's work really good right now it's hold the distance between you and the car in front I don't use the pedals I don't use the the steering wheel right now it tell me put your hands on the steering wheel you put the hands and then it give you again another 20 seconds where the car will drive automatic and wow look at this it's doing such a good job let's see on the curves here on the highway is is doing perfectly i like that it doesn't bounce at all i drive less days i think if i remember well the renault arcana and it was not so good it was always bouncing around left and right but this Peugeot 508 look at this it stay perfectly between the lanes I like that so yeah you have to keep in mind the autopilot it works super good so look at this but I have to go in here uh, the brakes are lovely right now the car regenerate back the energy you have also some pedals here if you want to change the gear manually and you want to have some fun with the car let's change the driving mode guys let's go in hybrid sport mode let's go in sport mode right now we are in sport mode the steering wow the steering it's even even um harder right now stiffer it's a little bit stiffer i think i never seen a steering wheel so stiffer on a peugeot like that peugeot usually have the steering wheel incredible soft and nice oh my god oh my god lovely oh yeah wow it stays so good on the road so good man i love it it's really strange to drive a peugeot with a sporty feeling it's for the first time and it's impressive i'm impressed with it i like it oh yeah i like it now peugeot start to do sporty cars don't expect to to have that feeling like like you have it on, a, an, on an RS, Audi RS but still they do a great job for the first time uh, doing an electric car combined, a plug-in car combined with a uh, petrol engine and a sport version for the first time I think they did a perfect job and I like how easy it is to, to turn on the, the, the cruise control and the autopilot you just press a few buttons behind the steering wheel there and right now the car is working and it's holding between the lanes really well it's keeping the distance it's keeping the speed you have blind spot technology in the mirrors great visibility i love those seats to be honest guys oh they are lovely the seats are really really good and you have electric seats you can adjust it in every position you want and these electric adjustments they it works really really soft and nice and it's very responsive lovely wow it's i like how good it stay on the on the road it's not i tell you again don't expect to find that feeling like you find it in an rs from audi but still it's very very close there it's really still impressive oh yeah the acceleration is good i mean the the way the handlings and the way it stay on the road it's it it still feel quite comfortable 
quite comfortable it's not that crazy sporty feeling uh, that stick to the ground that fill every single um, hole but in terms of acceleration oh yeah boy it's a great car the steering is stiffer the brakes and the pedals are soft and nice you know Peugeot it's kind of well known and at least for me when I drive a Peugeot I expect the steering to be soft the suspension to be really soft and nice and comfortable and I expect that soft smooth uh, ride but now being inside this sporty version I'm kind of impressed and yeah for the first time they they want to go they want to go hard with this psi and i think they will do a great job because peugeot in the last years they improve a lot they really improve a lot in the last years they they do such a good job with the cars and keeping the consideration guys in this price the car come with a lot of uh, great features like led lights on the front on the back full led you don't find any halogen light inside this car and outside this car and you have this autopilot that works perfect you have the possibility to drive only in electric mode right now we have 34 kilometers still to drive in electric mode and it's it's a lovely car you have the cockpit digital cockpit you have the multimedia something that i would change uh, on this car is the multimedia but i see that on the new peugeot 308 they already changed the multimedia system and they come with an amazing multimedia system so stay close guys because i will i will review that car soon and you will see the the new 308 it's it's incredible but in terms of driving look at this oh my god it stays so good on this curve this curve was was a big one and usually I test drive a lot of cars here and it's, it stayed really good I like it I like it, it it's lovely you can have some fun with the car lovely car and I like so much this steering wheel oh man I love this steering wheel it's so small so nice so cool yeah Peugeot it's one of my favorite uh, brand and the, the steering wheel it's one of the reason and you have such a good visibility on the cockpit i don't know why people complain in the reviews but you have a perfect visibility there no matter how tall you are you can adjust the steering wheel you can adjust the seats it's it's much better than the normal cars than the not the other normal i mean normal cars with the normal steering wheel with the classic steering wheel but if we take into consideration uh, the visibility it's perfect this steering wheel is the best way to go uh, because you have perfect visibility right there all over the cockpit when you need the power you put you put a foot down you have the power great job Peugeot I love the car also you have the B mode by the way I forget to tell you if you go back one more time just like that you go you go in B mode. B mode mean that when you take the foot off the acceleration, the car will regenerate the energy back in the battery and you can see a graphic there on the screen. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you don't have the possibility to change the, the level of regenerative brake on the pedals, but you can put it in B mode and when you when it's in the B mode it's like one pedal kind of one pedal drive you take the foot the car will slowly break and it will regenerate back the, the energy in the battery and stuff like that or when you press the brake for example right now I press the brake the car will regenerate and if you need more brake it will use the brake discs but the fact that this car it's a plug-in hybrid and it can regenerate the energy back in the battery it's great also for braking discs they will last longer uh, because you don't use it too often for example right now the car will regenerate slowly and look at this it will not use the the, the brake discs so from this point of view it's it's perfect now if I slow down a little bit yeah lovely lovely feeling and I love the fact that doesn't slip at all it's a four-wheel drive of course 
I don't expect that anyway but it has a good traction you feel the traction of all four wheels it's like going forward when you put the foot down great job I love it I love the car great job Peugeot yeah it's a big step forward uh, the the quality it's it's the number one in this car I mean the quality the comfort it's here and you have a family sporty car right now that give you everything I mean of course it's not an RS that you can go on the track with it but not everybody go on track someone like daily uses they want a sporty car yeah for for normal streets uh, and they want uh, a lot of space a lot of comfort a lot of quality materials and I think this is the perfect combination for daily driver with family that need a beautiful car with some great sport performance I think this is the I think this is the characterize I should characterize it just like that those words say everything right now you need the power you need the fun you have it here great grip great feeling on the steering wheel great safety safety uh, safety features and great comfort features on the car and also you have the possibility to press one button and go in electric mode and right now I want to say I'm clean man right now I want to drive clean today I want to be clean today and look at this it's silent it's clean it's nice it's economical if you if you charge it every night you go to home to work every day 10 20 kilometers 30 kilometers only in electric mode you have an incredible sporty crazy car and you have the possibility to go long distances only in electric mode it's crazy I mean no only you can go long trips uh, with petrol and electric mode or you can go short trips to work and home and save a lot of money uh, and if you need to go long trips you can go long trips uh, using both modes going D mode let it roll great system great gearbox um, Peugeot I also test this hybrid 4 from Peugeot and they actually did a great job with it I think they 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 have some experience uh, with the cars with hybrid plug-in hybrid cars now uh, I test it also on the 3008 5008 208 is doing such a good job great great lovely cars the cars stay pretty good on curves you have great visibility and it's smooth and also it's silent inside you have soft material everywhere leather great quality materials I like it and you have the power also in hybrid mode look at this the power is there and right now we are only in hybrid mode I like the fact that you can choice not not many car give you that option to choice I want to be electric now this Peugeot it's I want to go electric man if you have the battery you will go electric if you want to go hybrid you say okay I want to go hybrid right now let's go hybrid okay you are hybrid it doesn't tell you okay you cannot go in this mode because 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 no you can do whatever you want and the hybrid mode I think is the best way to drive this car in my opinion anyway lovely lovely I like it and I like this position of driving I have the hands here I can reach the buttons very easy um, I have a good visibility outside the suspension of course are set up a little bit stiffer for for um, for sporty cars but I think if you go in comfort mode let's see right now there are a few bumps here before we end up and also the brakes are very good you have ventilated brake discs four pistons in the front and normal brake discs on the rear in comfort mode yes you can you can also have you have the same feeling I mean they are a little bit stiffer love the car lovely car I don't know about you guys but I like it very much now if you want to park it let, let me show you how easy it is to park the car you can look in the mirrors you have great visibility in the mirrors but you can look on the camera the camera as I said before doesn't have incredible great 
phenomenal high quality resolution but it's perfect for the purpose of the of the camera look at this i just park it press the parking electronic handbrake just like that that was all man i mean it's incredible easy great visibility uh on the cockpit also great mirror here i love it it's so big and nice everything look and feel gorgeous in the car and then your stop it right now all right guys that was the test drive with the new peugeot 508 psi plug-in hybrid the most powerful production car ever made by peugeot peugeot sport engineered with free green line and i love this idea with these free green lines that they added also on the steering wheel also on the exterior of the car also on the brake calipers it looks just lovely okay guys my conclusion my rating 1 to 10 i will give it from 1 to 10 i take into consideration the price i take into consideration the competition like audi mercedes will be from 1 to 10 will be 9.5 this is my rating for the car they have a few things that they can improve but a few things are better than in an audi better than in a mercedes better than in other car brands i tell you i i like a lot of things in this car i i'm really close to peugeot i don't know why i feel that it's one of my favorite brand and i like very much i like the position of driving the way you drive this car i like the quality materials i love the seats the seats from peugeot they are one of my favorite seats on the market today i don't know why but i love them and i like what peugeot really really offer on their cars also if you want to buy a sporty car uh, in this class from Audi you will probably pay over 100,000 so the price is also much much uh, lower on this um, Peugeot 508 PSI anyway great car great job Peugeot love the car that was the video guys I hope you enjoy it if you like it if you enjoy it please like it share it also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the full review with this Peugeot 508 PSI interior exterior technical data everything about the car you will find out in the other separate video on my channel so subscribe to see the notification thank you very much for watching as always also don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of articles videos news about cars and more i will leave the link in the description to the car if you want to buy it if you are in switzerland around switzerland come here guys at emil frey in mosedorf they are super nice and they have also good prices and tell them you see my videos and you will get a good price so Thank you for watching, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.